What is up YouTube? This is Count Bladwin coming at you. How's everybody doing? Great, I hope. Well, so I got a new video for you. And, you know, this isn't something that I would normally kind of push or tell you all to go get. Um, <clears throat> to be honest with you, this is my birth month. And I run across a bunch of stuff and... It made me feel kind of nostalgic, so I bought it, and I figured I'd share it with you all. First off, I hope everybody had a great weekend. I hope you have a wonderful week, and uh, everything goes perfect for all of y'all. I got the best viewers in the world, and if you're new to my channel, do me a favor. Like, share, subscribe. It means the world to me, but it only takes a second of your time. And we like to have a good time here. Me and my viewers, we, we talk all the time. We have a good time. And so, I just like to share with y'all what my, you know, what I think is cool. Uh, new knives, stuff like that. I'm kind of a, an eclectic channel, which is, you know, some people do certain things and they'll stick with that one thing i kind of hit on a lot of stuff uh, but i hope you like my my channel if you do if you like the video comment in the field below uh, every little bit helps out the video helps out the algorithm and helps me out so what i have in front of me is a remake but it's something that my father had when i was young and it's from the army so we all know the british the famous british uh jack knife and that was a knife that was handed out to british soldiers during world war one and it was pretty famous you know i i'd actually like to have uh an original british jack knife well this believe it or not the United States had a jackknife, and this is the MR-278. It's made by Marbles now. Um, the bad thing is this thing was made in China, but that's not why I bought it. I bought it because it, it was... Uh, uh, nostalgic to me. And, you know, the original USGI jackknife is kind of expensive and, you know, I didn't really like it that much. But I do like these. Um, and these run for about $11, $12. Uh, but it, it's got everything a soldier needs, you know. It's got... A pretty good blade the blades were made out of 440 stainless steel which a lot of them were back in the day uh, that was just a popular steel for for knives uh, that's what case is always used and they still use it today um, as you can see they branded the blade I don't really care for that being that you know it's a remake but now that the blades out let's go ahead and, and test it at, before we get to the other stuff I always start with the push through not too bad little effort not too bad for a cheap knife you know and of course most knives do the slice if it don't do the slice you need to throw it away you need a different knife so let's see if we can get a pop out of it yeah it wasn't a bad cut though you know it's not gonna give me a pop is it oh look at her got one that's not bad uh, so it's a usable blade definitely be easy to sharpen being that it's 440 um, but 
Let's go ahead and see what else. It's got a scratch on the blade already. Hmm. Out of the box. Let's see what else is in here. So you get a, a flat tip screwdriver and a bottle opener. And, of course, back when these knives were issued back in uh, World War II, Korean War, and Vietnam, a lot of screws were flat tips. So, you know, it just makes sense that you get a flat tip. <coughs> Excuse me. And then you get a leather punch, which comes in handy. Uh, your Alice gear breaks on you. You can punch a hole through it, which is they were nylon or leather back in World War II and uh, Korean War. But by Vietnam, they had gone to nylon and they still, you know, if you needed a hole, you just heat this up a little bit and push it through and twist it and you got a hole that's burned into the nylon and you can you know fix your straps or whatever and then you get a can opener which comes in handy so you don't have to you didn't have to keep up with a, a P38 can opener uh, you, you could just use your jackknife you know so like I said I grew up and my my father had all these uh, they they make different they made different ones and I seen this and I just felt a little nostalgic you know and I was like well let's uh let's just get one you know at twelve dollars it don't really break the bank and <laughs> I mean, this has really gave me a lot of smiles and and uh, memories of growing up already. So it's it was worth the twelve dollars. Now I'm not going to carry this, probably not. But will I put this in one of my like go bags, bug out bags? Yeah, it's probably going to go in one of them because it's a useful knife. It's got useful stuff on it. It's just. You know, it's a bit heavy, and I like pocket clips. I like clippers. You know, I like my modern pocket knives, so uh, this will probably go in one of my bags. I'm kind of... Oh, we didn't, we didn't do the paper test, now did we? Let's do that paper test real quick. See how it does. Look at there. $12 knife that cuts pretty darn good heck yeah so you know not every knife that we buy has to have you know big expensive or it has to have a, an extreme purpose. I'm going to carry it EDC every day. You know. Uh, sometimes you just buy a knife that gives you good memories. And, and you know, it's just one of those things that makes you happy, right? So you, what do y'all think about the MR278 USGI jackknife? Now say that five times fast. <laughs> Uh, I think they're pretty cool, and like I said, you know, it, it brought some good memories back. As soon as, as soon as I opened the box, I was like, ah, oh, you know, I remember carrying them when I was a kid, like I've said on here before, you know, uh, I'd wear my dad's combat boots, I'd dress up as good as I can to be a little army man, and I'd go across the road into the woods where I grew up. And I'd stay out in the woods all day. The nearest kid to me was 10 miles away. So, you know, like, maybe not that far, but nearest kid to me was a long ways away. So, 
you know, I played out in the country by myself, and I played war all the time in, in the woods because my dad was in the military, and that's what I wanted to be, right? We all wanted to grew up wanting to be our dads. Most of us did. And so I would take these, go out in the woods and, and find sticks that look like guns, and I'd use the blade, and I'd, you know, cut off the limbs, and I'd make that stick look just like a gun to me, my uh, imagination, which a lot of kids don't have nowadays. Their imagination don't go no further than what Google can tell them. But... You know, like I said, hey, memories, right? Well, do me a favor. If you like the video, like, share, subscribe. It means the world to me. Only takes a second of your time. Reiterating that fact. And, uh, you know, we like to have a good time here. If you leave a comment in the comment field below, I try to generally try to answer within 24 hours. Um... You know, and, and you can ask my viewers. I, I'm really friendly. I, re I talk to you all. And, uh, you know, if you got any questions, I, I'll answer them the best of my ability. We're going to be having a giveaway before long. Um, I actually uh, have a few things that I, I'm going to give away. I'm not going to announce them what they are right now. But keep your eyes out for that. And uh, we'll probably get into that pretty soon. Well, as always, I hope your belly's full. I hope your refrigerator's full. And for the love of everything, I hope your gas tank's full. Stay safe, and we'll see you next time.